real. It's really dead then. Not everyone has the stomach required to entreat, my lord. But Cash likes you, friend. There is a way Periyat may speak to us who will take him in. If you wish to commune with him, we'll need the incense. Yes, the incense. Fetch for me a death bell flower, one silver ingot, a flawless ruby, and some vampire dust. Then I will show you how. Need something? Ah, have you? Let Cash have them. Yes, yes, this will create a fine view. That should do. Now, inhale deeply. <laughs> Breathe deep, mortal. I would have you hear me well. So let these vapors fill your lungs. I have watched you for some time, you know. The decisions you've made intrigue me, and I wonder if you are the proper agent for a task of mine. I sent a blessing to Mundus, a wasting plague that infected a scattering of Breton villages. One of my monks, the elf Orchendor, was sent to gather these afflicted. He shepherded them into Bathardons for me, but has since lost his way. I will not stand for betrayal. I want you to go to Bathardon and kill Orchendo in my name. The pettiness of mortals. I had almost forgotten. I can grant you a powerful token for this task. An escutcheon of Dwemer Mink capable of shielding you from both the spell and sword. Return when the elf lies dead, and it will be yours. So you have, mortal. Go now. Kill Orchendo.
done, mortal. All things are in their order, and Orchendo roams the pits. His betrayal will be punished, and your obedience is rewarded. Go, seek your fate. I will be watching. And perhaps we will meet again afterwards. Embrace order and hard truth, mortal. Goodbye.